That's it. Sims will pick up the rest for you. Thank you, Agent Azalei. Medical supplies will be in the back room. How are things, Bell? In this case, quite. I understand you may have first-hand knowledge that could help us. It must be difficult, Bell. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be... therapeutic. You and I. It's entirely possible. I have a long collaborative history with other intelligence services. Our paths have likely crossed at some point. Well, I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. We'll talk again soon. I'm going to need to process some of these old negatives. You can hit that whenever you're ready. The dark room's mostly functional. Just waiting on a couple more deliveries to finish it up. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Tanang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has been noted, Agent Park. That until you found in Da Nang was a treasure trove. Will you tell me? After we dug it up, you spent two full hours decrypting everything inside. You seem to think Volkov was the name to pay attention to. Are you feeling all right, Bell? That's one of the reasons we wanted you on this team. Not even the CIA's best cryptographers have been able to crack that dossier. You're special, Bell. But it also sounds like you need a nap. We have, for a short while. We share a common interest. Though to be frank, he's not the most pleasant person I've worked with. No more than you need to, I'll tell you that. Avoid personal questions. And whatever you do, never ask him about his scar. Do you really think that if I knew, I would tell you? You're cute. Born on the coast of Leningrad, never travels when the sun's out. He has impeccable taste in scotch and medieval torture devices. I think he'd love the UK. I plan on giving him a personal tour. My pleasure. Yes, sometimes the audio is unintelligible. All right, I'll do some digging. Oh, that new and larger came in. I set it up in the dark room for you. Curious. Does the name Madame Shell mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. 
There's intel crisscrossing ARPANET that her body washed up along the Padillos River in Cyprus. Huh. That's so. And her head, two kilometers downstream. <clears throat> Reports estimate her death around August of last year. Of all places, you were on assignment in Cyprus this past summer. Coincidence, wouldn't you say? Our line of work is full of coincidences. MI6 was keen on finding her. A rogue double agent gone dark for several years. I suppose she must have exposed herself somehow to the CIA. <laughs> Leave behind a trail of heads, bound to get attention. I worked with Madame Michelle for three years, closely. I trusted her. But the moment I began to suspect something, she knew. I was able to fight her off, but she left me with this parting gift. <laughs> So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. Madame Shell, body washed up on one bank, head on the other. Ironic, wouldn't you say? I'd call it poetic justice. Lazar. Thank you. For what? <laughs> well, I didn't expect to see you back here. Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so we'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything else is at your disadvantage. Coordinating infill and exfill. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies. But after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. Remember when I warned you about inquiring into Adler's past? Some of that was likely projection. We're not always proud of our scars. Are you taking the piss? Being cheeky, are we, Belle? I believe there are better ways to embellish one's character. But in our line of work, it's often more important to diminish the impression we leave on people. I'll be here if you need me. I need a few minutes of your time to discuss something. You available? In private. You ready? Let's talk. You look ready. Yeah. Check this out. Hey. <clears throat> the 
How's the rust on your Spanish? I can pass easily in Spain. In Havana, the lad of Spain is a gringa as soon as I open my mouth. I don't find it too much. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. <laughs> 